we're back. Combat Sports Podcast presented by Orthrus Promotions with Sal Moore and my special co-host, Andrew D'Amato. Rocky like a hurricane. All right, here we go. Heather Clark has got some news for us. Heather, you're going to break some news for us today? I, I am. I uh, got actually just got announced about 20 minutes ago that I will be fighting Felice Herrig on March 28th for Bellator 94 in Tampa, Florida. Awesome. Congratulations. It, it's not really 20 minutes, though, because <laughs> we're on a podcast. Oh, <laughs> hey, how pumped are you about this fight? I think you've been wanting to fight her for a while, haven't you? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm stoked. You know, like, yeah, I just, I feel like she just, you know, she's on uh, all this hype for the wrong reasons, and she sells herself a little bit distasteful, and, and, and she's not really, you know, the classy fighter that I think, um, you know, people should be in, in this sport. And uh, so I'd like to take that out on her a little bit. <laughs> Sounds personal. <laughs> it's not so personal, I guess. I mean, it's probably the, most, the first personal-esque fight that I've ever had. I've never really had any problems with any of my opponents. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I just I just don't li- I, I personally just don't like her. So, um, yeah. Is, is it because of the way she sells herself to the public? Is it because she prints sponsors on her butt? Is that why? No, oh, um, you know, okay, we all have to, you know, we're, we're women and we all want to be sexy. We all, we all want, you know, for, for guys to, to think that we're beautiful. Well, right, I mean, wait a minute, that's, Heather, that's Heather, horrible. Heather, wait a minute, but, N- well, Heather, not all the women want that. I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, I've seen some, some butchy girls in there in the cage okay, well, and well, I'm not being mean. I'm just saying not all of them want the guys to check them out. Let's clarify okay, that. Okay. I'm, and I'm not saying that all the time I want guys to check me out. I mean, if you've seen me in the gym, Sal, you know I'm not trying to get checked out no, in the gym. You, you're, you trying to, you're trying to do, in, do work in the gym. Exactly. Um, whereas I, I don't know if that's, that's her, you know, MO so much. I think, you know, she's constantly, um, you know, putting that out there that she's going to use her sexuality to get ahead in the world. And I think that there's there's a point where you you know you want like I said you want to put that out there and put your sexuality out there and put you know get people and fans and get sponsors. But I think that there's a way to do it with taste and and with class. And I don't think she has that at all. And so you know I just and that's just my opinion. I think that if you're going to do it, do it in a in a in a tasteful way, not in you know she would she did this. TMZ thing, and she was wearing like this little tube top and pair of shorts, and it was like. I would have worn that when I was, like, 15 to, like, you know, an all-ages club or something. Mind you, that was in the 90s. So, first of all, out of style. Second of all, completely, you know, distasteful. So, that's just how I feel. Yeah, so you sound pumped for this fight, Heather. Hell yeah. So, what's uh, what's going on in camp? How you been training? Um, you know, I just actually got this offer just a few days ago, but I've been training, you know, I've been trying to help uh, the Invicta girls get ready for their fights and stuff, so I've been in the gym and, and conditioning and stuff um, for a couple months now, just waiting for something to come up, so training's been really good, I feel really strong, I actually had some chance, you know, had a chance to um, to really work on some strength and, and, and build a little bit of muscle, and now I'm getting back into the endurance side of things, and I just, I'm going into this, like, so much stronger than I was my last fight, and, um, you know, coming off a loss, I've just been working on so many things and just putting my head right, and um, I'm really pumped. I'm really pumped to be um, given this opportunity, and uh, I'm going to make the best out of it, that's for sure. Yeah, I think it's going to be a great fight on Bellator. Uh, you know, women's MMA in Bellator and Tampa. It's going to be an awesome card. Thank you. I, I agree with you. I think, you know, people need to watch and, and see what women's MMA is about. And, and you know, if you want to little, see a little cheat, I'm sure Felice will be showing some, so you'll get a little of that too. But, you know, be looking for my, uh, <laughs> I want my to see skills more than cheek that. cheek and forehead and a couple, you know. <laughs> I want to see an eye swollen, you know, you know those type of things. That's, that's what I want to see. I just want to see a good sure. fight. To be honest, we don't want to see your eyes swollen again from some freak. Oh, hey, look, alien Andrew had stuff to bring out of that nowhere. Stuff up. I was oh, talking, gotta bring Andrew. Up, huh? Way to bring up old stuff. Right, right, Andrew. You just want to take pictures. Yeah, you're yeah. ready though. You got a chip on your shoulder. You know, he wants to take pictures. <laughs> hey, speaking of pictures, he you, you're a photographer also, right? 
So we're, I am. We're gonna have you, to do a photog- we're gonna have to do a photography <laughs> competition between you and Andrew. No, when I photograph I know, her, wait a minute, it's I'm actually gonna Heather taking the picture. You know that, right? It's a self portrait. I just <laughs> set up the camera and tell, and she tells me what to do. So you're you're the stupid monkey Don't you beating the drum. Don't you want to move the light over here? Don't you? So want you're to do ju- that? you're just the stupid monkey beating the drum, and she's the one that's actually <laughs> dictating where to go. You look like a monkey. Hey, I look like a gorilla. Not Get even. It right. I look. Andrew like a is awesome. He. Andrew always Andrew only on. takes oh, Andrew great. only takes cell phone photos. He's a cell phone photography <laughs> king. Why do you think no, that's a credible not. medium? A cell phone just because you own hey, an iPhone? Yeah, I don't. I, I'm a droid man. I hate iPhone. By the way, Andrew's so, a great photographer. He uh, has taken some fantastic photos of me, probably better than anybody's ever taken of me. And um, we have we have fun. We're we're we were just discussing what the next one's going to be. So. Uh, what what are your thoughts, Andrew? What's our next one going to be? I don't know. That's or actually gonna was going to be the the topic of the call until you hit it big time and, and announced your big fight. What what do you think we should do? I don't know, man. What do people want to see? I guess we should maybe put that out there on Twitter and Facebook. And I mean, to an extent, I, you know. <laughs> I, I think that's a great um, idea. I think we should. And see what people want to do. I think we should do something fun and creative and. Um, Hey, let's do an underwater MMA shoot. See what I mean? There we go. Do you, do you see what I'm talking about? It's a self-portrait. See? Let's do it. <laughs> I, I want to. Andrew can't swim, by the way, so he's just going to drown under the pool. In three feet of water, I'm he actually will drown. an excellent swimmer. I'm a horrible swimmer. I can't swim with nothing. manatees before. I have never been able to swim. <laughs> Except for when I jumped over the Heather's ditch. an all-around athlete. Dude. I know. She was well, a former well, pro well, hockey player. That, that's what I was going to say. You love hockey. <laughs> She's a former hockey player. Why don't you guys play each mm-hmm. other in hockey and let me videotape it? We, we actually hung out in a locker room awesome. together. Uh, no, look, you're, you're backtracking again. Look at <laughs> look at He's trying hard. Cause I was gonna, how about this? I'll do a grappling tournament against you or a grappling match, and Andrew will film it. And then you go play <laughs> Andrew. I, film it? I didn't agree to that. And then Andrew will play you in <laughs> hockey, and I'll film it. Oh, I play anyway. Okay, I'm down. I don't oh, care how good they are. I he play. said he doesn't care how good you are. He'll beat you anyways, is what he just said. Oh, sh- that, yeah, I'm, I'm just saying what he said. Hey, so what uh, <laughs> What coaches you been getting some time with, or what's your schedule look like coming up for training for the fight? Um, you know, I got to talk to Wing today, and um, he's going to work with me um, a couple days a week, and we're going to get some mitt work in, and then um, Mike Valley as well is going to, he said he'd be able to put some time in, and um, and then I actually have uh, some news where I might be uh, leaving town here for a little bit and going to Vegas um, after this fight to work with uh, a new gym that's kind of a sister school to Jackson, it's called Syndicate. And uh, the head trainer over there is John Wood, and he's um, he's actually going to be probably coming out here for, for this um, training camp and, and working with me and then possibly cornering me for this fight. So, you know, big things, big news, you know, things are changing, but, um, you know, Jackson's and, and Winkle John's will always be my, my home and, and my base, and I just, um, I'm venturing out a little bit to get a little bit more uh, one-on-one time and a little bit different uh, different scene. No, no, I to- totally understood. So are there other women... MMA fighters there? You know what they have? They have a few. They have um, Amanda Lucas uh, and then is, Colleen is that, Schneider. Is that dun, 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 yes. dun, dun. George <laughs> Lucas's daughter, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And, no you know, it, it, she's she's a great person. Colleen again. I call, um, Amanda fights at a little higher weight. She's she's going to be dropping down to forty five. She said, but um, she, uh, Colleen's a twenty five er. Um, I guess they just got a new girl who's a 15er, um, so that's awesome. And, you know, there's a lot of girls around Vegas, and I'm hoping that we can, you know, Syndicate's a 12,000 square foot gym, so I'm hoping that we can get some maybe girl training sessions and bring some of the other girls that are kind of spread out throughout Vegas and, and bring them in and, and help us help each other um, and grow a little bit, you know. But um, more than anything, I just I, I really need to look at, at look at myself and kind of build and start uh, making some goals for my future and just um, building on my on my skills and, and, and whatnot. So that's what's what I'm kind of leaning towards in the future, the next short term future. So so do you feel if you move out to Vegas, you you'll have more of those goals set in place with this new syndicate team? 
Um, yeah, just because, you know, with wonderful, as wonderful as Jackson's is, and I've gotten, you know, amazing time with Wink and, and, um, and some of the other coaches and stuff at the gym, but it's, you know, we have so many high profile, um, fighters and, and, and so it's hard to get that one on one time and, and really get, you know, get that. So I'm hoping to get that out in syndicate and I've talked to John Wood and, He's um he's gonna work with me a little bit and you know like I said it's 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 a temporary thing um it could it could, it could be there six months could be there a year I, I'm not really sure I'm not planning um, a specific time but you know like I said Jackson's and, and Winkle Johns will always be um be my base and and um, I'll be here for the girls and hopefully they can come out and visit me and train and um yeah just it's it's harder time now it's the hurricane <laughs> rock you like a hurricane. That's exactly. how we opened the segment with that crazy song. Do you know who that was, by the way? <laughs> I don't. I still don't know. Hey, I, I think, uh, you know, it sounds like you're busy but focused, and, you know, you're, you're talking about the future, and I think you're getting ready for Felice, and you're going to have a great fight. You've got some good time with uh, with Valley. I heard he's really good. Valley flow striking. Yeah. Uh, I heard he's excellent to work with, and then, uh, you know, going out and some some one-on-one attention out in Vegas. Nothing wrong with that. Absolutely, and it's, you know, also another scene for photography. I've got some really big ideas in terms of um, doing some boudoir photography out there, and I think, I mean, what, what better boudoir? place? Boudoir is, um, it's like, the, it's actually, it means bedroom photography, but it's it's kind of a newer, is popular thing. Pictures? It's been around a long time, but it's sexy lingerie slash artistic nudes, um, but it, it's more than, it's not just like Victoria's Secret you know, pictures. It's more about the sensuality and, and, and the mood and the, the lighting and everything. And, and just, you know, women do it for their husbands, for their boyfriends, for their girlfriends, for themselves. Um, but all around, it's a really great experience. Everyone that I've ever shot before, they come out feeling, you know, very confident, sexy. And um, I just think it's a great, it's a great uh, confidence builder. And, and, you know, you can, I can take any woman shapes or size or color or age and I'm going to make them look amazing you know so sounds to me like you and Mac Danzing should put on a uh, photo gallery together a Mac, Mac Danzing why Mac Danzing he's a photographer as well there's a couple of you out is there he, and he's a well you're one too what do you I'm mean? not an MMA fighter I don't get punched in the face for a little I could punch you in the face right now I and then we can take a picture you. you think so yeah anytime you want buddy Your body by body is going to help you yeah <laughs> Let me tell you, those cheese, double cheeseburgers you were eating on the way in ain't going to help you much either. Dude, I haven't eaten meat in like seven weeks. What are you talking about? Why aren't you eating meat for? Because I, I don't like it anymore. I, I don't like it anymore. Yeah. Is that what it is? You don't like to eat, Andrew? I, Heather doesn't eat meat, so I figure I want to be a world champion like her one day, you know? A Andrew doesn't <laughs> like meat anymore. It's been seven weeks is what he said. What? I, I know. It's no crazy. Way. How many times have I invited you over for a barbecue with the family? I know. It's because I hate I, I feel bad making you guys uh, have to do anything special for me. That's that's the whole the whole problem of being a vegetarian in this day and age. You know, are you, you feel a, bad. Are you a vegetarian or a vegan? A Ooh, Heather and me, both. <laughs> Wasn't well, he just say Andrew was eating a cheeseburger? Yeah. No, I'm not, I ha I seriously haven't eaten meat. But this is a little a off fatty. topic now. No, it doesn't matter. We're talking. We're having good conversation. I definitely haven't been having body by vi though. That's no. less expensive. It's, it's only forty dollars a month. Only it's fifty bucks. Forty. Forty. You got an inside I track. Got a, huh? I got a discount. Hey Heather, what's the likelihood <laughs> we see you uh, on a fight card in Albuquerque in the future? Well, there is some talk. Um, you know, with this Bellator fight, I also um, refined a deal with them with um, XFC so they've been having some talk about doing um, maybe a show here so if that happens that would be probably the next time I get to fight here unless there's a promoter out there uh, boxing promoter that's doing any fights here that's always a possibility so it's just a one fight contract with Bellator yes it's just a one fight contract with Bellator and then I will be staying with XFC for a little bit I think after you get the W you'll have a, a nice offer from Bellator well, she just said, dummy, if you're listening, that she signed a, a, another contract with XFC. But you're not paying yeah, attention. Yeah, Contracts it. get broken. <laughs> you know, I'm you, a dummy. That doesn't you know happen you're, every day. You're sounding just like a few people I know. Oh, yeah, we have a contract, <laughs> but don't worry about it. Because I said <laughs> that they can fight. I'll just rip it up and throw it in. You know how many times you'd get sued? Come on, Andrew. <laughs> we'll revisit this later after she wins, and we'll see. Yeah, we will. Okay. And then we'll see her back in the XFC cage. 
it, it's a mark <laughs> it's a marketing thing. She wins in ballot yeah. she can she can go back into XFC as beating Felice in Bellator and coming into XFC, it's a win-win for everybody. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what's going to happen. And then, and then I'll probably be fighting for the title uh, a few fights down the line in XFC. So, um, yeah, you know, it's big things. Are, big, big opportunities are presenting themselves, you guys. Now it's my time to grind, put the work in, and win my fight. And if I, you know, win and when I do that, um, you know, big more, big more opportunities. <laughs> more big opportunities will come. So it's, you know, it's just about putting that time in and that work. That is awesome. Heather Clark. Uh, Heather, real quick again, uh, reiterate what Bellator event you're going to be at. And, it's and then uh, March. Go ahead. Go ahead, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, okay. It's uh, March 28th in Tampa, Florida. It's Bellator 94. And uh, it will be live on Spike.com. Awesome. So you are making the, the Spike.com portion of the card? I believe so. I Fantastic. believe so. I, uh, I think I read that in my contract yesterday. Awesome. Why, why wouldn't it? No, I'm, I'm just a yeah. co-headliner. You, you know, you, I would assume that she was going to be on Spike, but if it's Spike.com, that means she's the featured fight on Spike.com. Nice. I, I don't think it's going to, yeah, I, don't, I know it's not going to be televised. Um, that was definitely part of it, but I know, it, yeah, it's supposed to be on online. Very, very cool. Heather, before we let you go, and thank you for taking the time out of your, your busy evening, uh, is there anybody no you'd like problem. to thank? I'd like to thank you guys, definitely. Uh, Sal, you've been, you know, been a big uh, help, a friend, and, and, and everything and since I've been here in Albuquerque. And Andrew, you know, thank you for all the photos that you've taken and, and Wait, collaboration that we've done Sal together. I you hated him. I just figured you did like everyone else. <laughs> now you're like, oh, um, like he's a dear oh, friend. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. He, he's yeah. a troublemaker. He likes. He tries I, to start I trouble. I thought that was a fact. What do you mean by troublemaker? I was just, you know. Just no, <laughs> nobody likes me. It's okay. So, still going, guys. <laughs> yeah, I know. She's thanking stop, people, so cut talking. it out. Okay, I want to thank um, my uh, clothing sponsor, Throat Punch. Um, working on an impossible endorsement deal with them, so that should be some good news coming up. Um, they've been great, 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 great sponsors uh, since my last fight. Um, you know, working with Hustle and Slade, and then uh, I have Dr. Maggio Chiro Downtown Chiropractic is a, a guy who does uh, ART, which is Active Release Technique, here in Albuquerque. Um, I have OTM Fight Shop, who's been behind me every fight. You know, they figure out some way to, to help me and get on my banner. Um, I want to thank, let's see, I had, you know, Lexani, Pitch Engine. Um, I have the most amazing, go back into, going back to the vegan vegetarian um, supplement sponsor that I've had that been behind me since before I even had a fight, and that's called Vega, V-E-G-A. Go to myvega.com. Check them out. They're amazing. Um, don't need to be a vegan to take it, but it's fantastic. They also have a new company off of that called Thrive Foods, and they, they make um, vegan, organic, plant-based food delivered to your house weekly. And um, I'm really lucky because I actually get that for free sent to my house weekly. So it makes for an easy cut and, um, and a healthy cut as well. So I think that's, that's it. Um, I'm, I'm sure I'm probably forgetting someone, as I always do, but, uh, you know, I want to thank all my teammates and, and, my, and my team and coaches and friends and family and um, everybody that's been there for me. I, I couldn't be here without you. Hey, best of luck and, and keep in touch. Hope to, you know, revisit with you on the show again one day. Awesome. Thank you guys for your time. And, Andrew, hit me up. Let's do some photos. Anytime get, you want to do your self-portrait, I'll try to make myself it. available. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> All right. Thanks again. Not really. Well. All right. Thank you, Sal. I'll uh, be talking to you guys soon. Okay. Sounds good. We'll be right back with a special, special guest. ESPN Radio 1017, the team, Combat Sports Podcast with Sal brothers, right? Mora. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. We'll be right back. <laughs> 